Hey, let's paint up some more of those rebels from Star Wars Shatterpoint. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Uh, today we're going to be painting Zeb Aurelios and Ezra Bridger from Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. Um, you may notice my voice is a little terrible and you may notice that I have this around my neck. Uh, yep. I got the uh, I got the COVID there, so it's great. Um, yep. So we're gonna paint these today. Um, they're not too difficult. I'm a little out of sorts, but a video has to go out every Monday, so that's that's where we're at. I'll also apologize for any uh, focusing issues while uh, painting these. For some reason, I just couldn't focus the camera sometimes. That might have been because of the fever while I was painting. Either way, enough jibber jabber. Let's uh, paint up these uh, these dirty old rebels. Anyway, I gave these guys a dark spray and then a zenithal of uh, white from above. And the first thing we're going to do is take some alien purple and some Dorado skin. I'm going to make like a lighter purple tone. And this is going to be for Zeb's uh, skin. He's not entirely dark purple. It's more of like a lighter purple. But anyway, um, I didn't have any ratios for that. I kind of just mixed it up till I thought it looked good. So that's this is basically the starting color. Then I'm going to take a lighter uh, mix that I made, and that's going to go all over his face. Um, and then I'll wet blend in the first purple and the lighter purple a little bit on his head. Next, I'm going to take some lava orange, and I'm going to darken it down with some oak brown. Uh, just a little bit of oak brown, like... Uh, it ends up kind of looking more of a peachy color, but that's okay. This is going all over Ezra Bridger's uh, orange costume. It's not a flight suit because he's just like a weird old street urchin, but it's orange and that's where it's going. Next, we're going to take some desert yellow here, and this is going to go all over the uh, body suit that Zeb has. So we're staying away from the armor and the belt there, but it's going all over those parts that we want eventually to be the yellow color on his costume we're also going to go back uh, over to Ezra and uh, this is going to go on the collar of his uh, neck he's also got two little spots on his vest uh, I noticed that after as I was checking my reference photos that's why it's important to always check your reference photos because uh, Ezra's got like a costume that he's worn through like the whole thing but eventually he loses the vest and changes a couple things so it's hard to remember which version you're painting so check your reference photos next we're just going to take some straight oak brown and this is going on all the parts of ezra that we need to be brown so boots vest uh belts all that stuff we're just going to get it on there next we're taking some pale gray here and this is just going to go on this little white piece of armor that ezra has on his leg Next, we're taking some Payne's gray here. This is going all over Ezra's uh, hair. Um, so this is kind of like a really, really dark blue gray, which is perfect for the base of his hair because his hair is kind of uh, bluish in the cartoon anyway. Um, it's also going to go on his gloves. And we're going to throw it on Zeb's little uh, hipster goatee and uh, mutton chops there as well. Next, we're going to take some dark yellow green, and this is going to go all over the green uh, parts of the armor of uh, Zeb. You may notice that there's some parts that are I show being painted, and then the next scene they're not painted. It's because they got things a little out of order, so I just put it in order that makes sense. So, Yep. Next, we're going to take some yellow ochre and we're going to darken it down with some earth here. And this is going to be the skin tone for Ezra. So we just want to put that on his face, his neck, and also his uh, uh, hobo tramp fingerless glove tips there. Next, we're taking some desert yellow and we're going to brighten it up with some demonic yellow. And this is going to be the first layer up on any of the yellow that we did. So it's going to go on the collar of Ezra and then obviously all over the desert yellow we did on Zeb. And we want to stay away from our base color, which was the desert yellow, leave that in the recesses and just slowly bring up all that new sort of a mustardy 
mix that we have. Uh, his costume isn't just like a straight bright yellow. So then we're gonna add in a little bit more um, of the yellow and bring up another layer up. So again, this is still not like a pure yellow. It's still very much like a uh, Dwight's shirt from the office mustard yellow. So we're just bringing up our colors and uh, I don't know why, but this yellow mix ends up looking really good. And we wanna make sure we also do the same again over on Ezra. You're probably talk just for a second about uh, Ezra. Let's be honest, when the, the show Rebels first started, pretty annoying. Uh, it, it, it went away quickly, but not your favorite character. And by the end of the show, you're like, oh, I really like Ezra. Uh, that seems to be one of Filoni's things on cartoon shows because in the Clone Wars, when Ahsoka came out, mm, nope, not a fan. By the end of it, she's the main character and probably the best part of the show. Uh, I wouldn't say Ezra's the best part of Rebels, but he definitely grows on you. We're going to take our lava orange and oak brown, so we're adding in a little bit more lava orange this time to do our first layer up on his uh, orange costume. Jumpsuit. I don't know what it, I don't know what it's called. Overalls. And, uh, yeah, we're doing the same thing we just did with that uh, yellow color. We're just staying away from the recesses and bringing it all up. And we're going to then just transition over to just a straight lava orange. So now we've taken our brown out and we're doing our last layer up of all that orange. And we're just hitting the raised areas and staying away from the colors that we've already done. And yeah, just bringing it all up. Next, we're going to take some fur brown and we're going to do a layer up on all of the oak brown that we did on Ezra. And uh, this is just to bring up uh, all the brown so it's not that completely dark brown. And uh, once we're done with this layer up, we're going to just be done with the brown. That's all we have to do. Same thing, we're staying away from all the recesses. You know, if you've watched the videos, you kind of have an idea of what I mean by staying away from recesses and layering up the colors. So we're just going through and bringing everything up. Next, we're taking some thunderous blue and we're going to do a layer up on Ezra's hair. So we're going to follow the natural contours that they've sculpted in. So that sculpted detail. And then in between, we're going to add some really thin little fine lines. We're also going to use this on Zeb's uh, uh, hipster juice bar goatee as well. Next, we're taking some deep gray and we're just going to use this to layer up uh, Ezra's uh, hobo gloves. Then we're going to take some matte white here, and I'm going to use this just to layer up uh, that gray on that little armor piece that we did. We're going to jump over to yellow ochre, so this is just straight yellow ochre, and we're going to do the first layer up on Ezra's skin. So, same way we've been uh, doing the layers already, we're just going in, hitting those raised areas, leaving our earth and yellow ochre mix in the recesses. We're going to add a little Dorado skin into our yellow ochre and do a final layer up on all of uh, Ezra's skin there. I'm going to take some Fugan orange and I'm going to water it down to make almost like a glaze. And I'm just going to put it over that orange jumpsuit because I felt like, I don't know if the recesses weren't deep enough, but it just wasn't orange enough. Then we're going to take some soft tone, we're going to water that down a little bit and put it on Ezra's skin because the same thing, I felt like this was too bright as where I thought the orange was too dark. And we're going to take some dark yellow green and some army green and we're going to do a layer up on all of the armor panels that uh, Zeb has. So uh, we're, st again, staying away from the recesses, there's a lot of straight lines here to follow so it shouldn't be too bad and we're just bringing up that armor color. And we're taking our alien purple and Dorado skin again, and we're doing an even lighter mix for the face. 
So that'll be our first layer up of uh, all his facial features. So we're doing the same thing for his main skin color, which again is like a pale purple. So we wanted that darker purple, which is still pale in comparison to the alien purple. And we're going to layer up all of the color of his regular skin on his body now. So it's the same thing we've been doing and we're just bringing it all up. And this ends up working really well. It's nice, like I said, to mix your own color sometimes. Next, we're taking some lime green here, and this is just going into Zeb's eyes. Then we're going to take some deep gray, and we're just going to dot in some small, tiny little pupils for Zeb. Uh, just take your time and be careful. If you make a mistake, grab that lime green and just go over it. Next, we're taking some Imperial Fist uh, yellow here, and this is just going over the, uh, I don't know, energy on Zeb's bow rifle. Then we're taking some pure red. We're gonna use this on some of the uh, little greeblies on Zeb's belt and wrist. Uh, we're also gonna use this on the white armor that Ezra has. He's got some little spots there that uh, also have a little bit of red. Next, we're going to take some gunmetal, and this is just going to go on Ezra's lightsaber blaster weird thing handle that he makes. We're going to use Ice Yellow as a dry brush on that energy real quick on Zeb. We'll take some Gravelord Gray, and this is going to go on Ezra's uh, lightsaber thing, just to add some shading to the gunmetal that we did. We're going to take some Ancient Stone, and we're going to use this to color in the symbol on the back of Ezra's vest. Once that is done, uh, do the basis, which I've already done here, and these guys are all finished up. And here they are all finished up. Uh, I'm not sure why there's some paint on his base, but I'll fix that. And his eyes, I'll fix that too. He turned out fine. Um, yeah, he's all right. And here is Zeb coming around. Uh, he turned out actually a lot better than my camera's reading in my light box, but... Uh, yeah, they were, they were fun projects. Uh, so what do you guys think? Honestly, I could have probably done much better uh, all around between focusing and painting. Although I think the yellow and the green turned out really good on Zeb. And the purple did too, but I just got, I just built a new light box. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get it to work properly. Um... But I really wasn't excited to paint either of these guys, so there's that. I figured I had to do at least one more Shatterpoint video uh, because, unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately for me, unfortunately for the Shatterpoint fans, there's not going to be much Shatterpoint going forward uh, for October because October is Monster Month every year. For the channel, we do monsters and Halloween type stuff, and that's for the month of October. So Shatterpoint won't really be featured for October, so I apologize for that, but well, that's how it is. Plus, there's nothing really coming out that I want to paint until uh, the Bounty Hunters come out, because I want to do a video for each one, because they're my favorite. And we want to thank our Patreons, Charming Grenade and Richie Fender. Thanks for supporting the channel so much, you guys. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon uh, link is in the description below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Hey, let's paint. Why am I scratching myself?